Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for being here. And in this week's project, it's a small one, but it was a fun one. This time we've got some metal and some wood involved. We got a live edge slab mixed with some plumbing pipe and these really awesome salvage yard wheels I found, all made of metal. I refurbished those as well during this project. So come with us, see how we did it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like I said, here are the wheels I found at the salvage yard. I'm gonna disassemble them off camera and I've gone ahead and cleaned up the bases of them and I'm gonna take some black matte spray paint and put a couple of coats on here just like this. I've gone ahead and taken the wheels, put them in a plastic cup and I'm gonna pour some good old fashioned white distilled vinegar. This process is awesome, guys. If you haven't cleaned up metal with white vinegar before, I recommend you do it. It takes all the legwork out of sanding. Leave it in there for about 24 hours. As you can see, it's still doing its thing, still working its magic. And after you take them out, all you need is a wire brush to kind of clean up the surface, and the results are absolutely incredible. After a light sanding and a quick dusting, I made this small little contraption with a bamboo skewer and a couple of pieces of plywood. And we're gonna go ahead and put a nice matte clear coat on them just to protect them and keep them from getting to that state once more. I then apply a few coats of that same matte clear coat to the base of the wheels. And now I turn my attention to my scrap pile to find a piece that I'm gonna install these wheels upon. A lot of this wood I actually got for free from my local lumber yard. It's not in the best shape. However, if you have the right tools, you can dimension it down to size. I actually made a whole video on how to go to the lumber yard and work your magic and try to get this stuff for free. So if you have a local one and you want to try it for yourself, I'm going to link down below the process that I use to get some really awesome wood at no cost or maybe just a little bit of cost, but you'll see why. Check out the video down below. All right, so this piece is going to be the center support on the bottom of the table. I still need some side supports, and I'm gonna cut those here with another piece of that wood that I happen to pick up from the local lumber yard. I'm then gonna make a few marks, and I'm essentially gonna take out enough material to make a half lap joint. And I'm just gonna do this by taking my time on the table saw with the blade set at the correct height. As you can see, just nibbling that material away. I do the same process to the other side of the piece. And it's at this point, I'm gonna take my speed square, make some 45 degree angle cuts on the miter saw to kind of soften the edge, if you will, or soften up the appearance of the underside of this table. Sand these things flush, apply some glue, and then clamp it with an extreme amount of pressure. Well, maybe not an extreme amount of clamping pressure, but these F-style clamps and this one big cabinet maker's clamp do the job great. Come back in about three hours, everything is good to go and rock solid. After installing a chamfer bit in my router, I've gone ahead and put a 45 degree of chamfer along the whole base of this piece. And the other part I did was, well, the router doesn't quite get into all the corners real well. I forgot to really film this, but I used a block wrapped in sandpaper to achieve that look right there which adds a little detail that I happen to like. Now on to the metal plumbing pipe and it's four brackets that are gonna help me install it with some screws to the base and the top. These plumbing accessories you get from the big box store, before you paint them, before you do anything, you need to clean them really well. Uh, I typically clean them with some, some sandpaper and some mineral spirits and that seems to do the job pretty well. But onto the base now, we're gonna use some boiled linseed oil, real simple oil-based finish on this one. Nothing too crazy, but I really like how this oil brings out the natural color of this wood. And now it's time to install these really awesome wheels. I'm enlisting the help of an extremely long drill bit for this. Uh, you know, it just kind of helps the drill get out of the way of itself while I'm putting these holes in. That way the holes that I put to mount these wheels aren't angled. So having a nice set of long drill bits in your shop is definitely something I recommend. Now, this process is pretty simple. I've used some pan head screws here to go ahead and install them. That way I don't need washers. And you can see the process here as I install this one. I make my way around the entire thing and now we're good to go. 
As I'm rolling it around my workbench, I have an idea. So, call me crazy, but let's see if this works. I'm gonna try to attempt to ride this thing. And... <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Did you really think the king of shop safety who never forgets his safety glasses and always wears steel-toed flip-flops in the shop would actually ride that as a skateboard? I don't think so. Anyway, back to the project. So here's a piece of live edge cedar I've had sitting around the shop for a while. I forgot to hit record as I was finishing it through the surface planner. However, I'm gonna sand it down a little bit. I'm gonna put a nice 220 grit coat on it and then we're gonna coat it with some more boiled linseed oil. After two coats of oil, it's now time to turn our attention to install the pipes to the base of the table. Using a self-centering drill bit makes things a lot easier, giving me proper alignment for these screws to go in. I did pick up a set of screws at my local big box store with black powder coated heads on them. Turns out that they blend in seamlessly, or as seamless as they can, and I think they look pretty sharp. So as you can see, it's time to install the top. Live edge pieces of material have, you know, tapered corners or tapered sides, giving you a lot of surface area on one side and not as much on the other. And I thought that this is gonna be an entry table and I'm not gonna need to store a whole lot on it and I like the look of the live edge. So I kept that aesthetic in mind. And as you can see, the boiled linseed oil makes this thing look great and I don't really need that much surface area. So I went with this and I think it turned out great. Well, there you have it guys, project complete. This is finally off my bucket list. I've been wanting to use some metal pipes in a project for a while, and finally I was able to make an entry table that's gonna get a lot of use. Place to drop my keys, wallet when I come in the door. Finally got that done. Guys, thanks again so much for joining me. I'm gonna ask you to subscribe if you're not a member of us already, and of course I'm gonna play some more videos over there for you to watch if you're interested. Your viewership means the world to me, and I very much appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you on the next project. Again, my name is Chris, this has been A Glimpse Inside, and we'll see you next time.